Hi there lovely people, good morning from Dhaka, Bangladesh. You guys missed me from this angle, didn't you? Just kidding. Uh, last couple of days, like last three days or so, have been a very uh, busy days, a busy time for me. I've been working with uh, one of the, our big outlets, retail outlets called Perfume uh, World. And I've been shooting from them, doing some live, so running around a lot, really hot and humid, so really got burned out. I have one more day left, uh, that is uh, by right today, but actually it's night, like right now it's night time, 2.30, early morning. And uh, tomorrow I think I'll be doing the last uh, live session from the Dhanmundi, uh, our last uh, remaining uh, outlet. Uh, I'll be there uh, doing the live, so hopefully you catch it as well. So what I plan to do, I miss doing my reviews and uh, uh, let's see, we do a short list, then we do a couple of other videos. So first list I want to do, I bought quite a few fragrances this month, quite a few, you know, like, uh, I don't know, I just got carried away due to the sales, the promotion, whatnot, you know. Uh, so I bought some fragrances which were more like, uh, you can say backup bottles or uh, my bottle was finished. So I want to do... Uh, you know, revisit them. I will re-review them as well, but let me show you a list of six fragrances, which I think are amazing in summer. They are all from different company, different types, but they all have one common thing, that is they are refreshing. So let's show you some six refreshing, different kind of fragrance from different price bracket. So let's go from the most affordable to more uh, expensive. So first fragrance, let me show you. This is a casual list, nothing to take so seriously. Uh, I will speak on each little bit uh, so it becomes not just uh, six fragrances but also uh, get some notes in short okay i'll show you one by one number six is tommy by tommy hilfiger i had a small bottle of this from malaysia i had a 30 ml bottle that i bought and i really found you know that was i found kind of like it it was funny that i paid 30 ml like around how much um, $25 or so and if you pay a little bit more you can get a big bottle like this in Bangladesh but it's okay you know Malaysia fragrances are all a bit expensive so I recently purchased it again and it's a simple fragrance many people have uh, good memories with it I thought of doing um, let's say a comparison with Hugo Boss bottle or Hugo Boss number no. six uh, the reason being this fragrance has that apple smell you know like apple uh, pie It'll be refreshing it got some peach i think there's some citrusy notes up top i reviewed it long time back i'll do individual review then you understand i'll update you but this fragrance right here it's very refreshing very nice very nostalgic very uh, kind of like a sweet uh, polite sprayers are not that good but yeah man that old days you know this is kind of like a t-shirt and jeans like calvin klein would make so tommy you know they have this coloration of blue red and white sometimes this is a basically a t-shirt and uh, like jeans, you know, if you wear denim jeans, you can wear that. It's good for still teenagers. It smells nice. It's not very long lasting, but it's not very weak also. This is longer lasting than Echo Digio or Calvin Klein. I really find this fragrance to be like, it brings back a lot of memories. You know, if you are somewhere like in 30s right now, you definitely, uh, you have definitely smelled this in your childhood. So this is one of the fragrances, but prices are going up a little bit now. I would say still like a very affordable perfume. So first one I'm going to show you today is Tommy by Tommy Hilfiger. Really nice summer refreshing scent. That apple smell really like, you know, puts your mood in the right direction. Uh, you can also wear this for the mild cold weather. It's like early days of winter. It smells fantastic. Tommy by Tommy Hilfiger number six. Number five, I'm going to show you a recent buy. I recently showed this to my group members. We had a meetup. I have posted in my group. Uh, we had a iftar session. Iftar means basically breaking fast for Muslims. So our uh, fasting days are coming to an end and next month or so, like one week after, we're going to have uh, Eid, okay? So we had a last uh, meetup session with our admins and other senior members. I took this fragrance there and I took their opinion. Everybody seemed to love it. And this one, they, like this is so familiar, but they couldn't tell what this is, you know, but later I told them they were all smiling. This is from House of Swiss Arabian called Pure Instinct. This bottle... I just think this was one of the most beautiful looking bottles from Middle Eastern countries. It has this beautiful blue bottle and this one is a, like a leather wrap or something like a band, a golden and then blue two-tone color. They also have another instinct, I forgot the name, the black bottle. I'll review it, the very heavy cap. This fragrance not only just looks beautiful, this fragrance actually smells stunning. Uh, if uh, you're looking in the market for something of a performer, this is a great performer. For summer fragrance, always remember one thing I always tell you, do not compare these fragrances with 
sweeter, heavier, darker, oud, leather, those kind of fragrances, you'll be disappointed. But for a freshie, this fragrance is excellent. Seven to eight hours easy on the shirt. And if you cannot smell it, people around can, okay? So this is basically also refreshing. It has amazing opening. Uh, this basically, I tell you what this is. It's a mix of few fragrances, right? if you didn't see my review. This fragrance has the opening of kind of like Bleu de Chanel and then you feel also like this is like YSL, YEDP because it's green apple, crisp and also has this pineapple vibe. So some people got confused. Is this a Bleu de Chanel clone? No, it's not that. It has vibes of those but actually turns out to be morphs into something like a something like Lacoste uh, White or Blanc or Hugo Boss, I think Unlimited. I forgot the name always, the white bottle basically. It smells like those, a Mont Blanc Legend Spirit, but the best thing about this fragrance is this performance outperforms any other similar fragrances. So it's a blue star, goes with kind of like a fresh, clean, musky, simple scent, but it continues to project two to three hours and very long, long lasting. So I think this fragrance is great for summer. Pure Instinct by Swiss Arabian. This is your update. So... Uh, number three or rather say six five four number four is I bought this recently I haven't reviewed it okay and I think this is such a lost gem because this is discontinued now you cannot find this in Bangladesh that much even in the foreign markets uh, this fragrance is officially discontinued uh, I don't know if European markets have this in abundance the prices here are a little bit high but I'll show you what this is this is called Givenchy only uh, gentlemen this fragrance I think is called O Fresh okay or summer something like I think O Fresh um, because they don't mention the name and they also have a Paris sign or I forgot the name there's another one similar to this they are very similar in terms of smell but I got this one instead because I found it look at the bottle first of all look at the bottle I'll review this later uh, this has this frosted kind of vibe here something like Durham Cologne right got this classic sticker this basically uh, you know evolved from Givenchy only gentlemen or gentlemen only which is also discontinued now the whole line uh, this one it's like opening is totally different from the original doesn't have the violet leaves and stuff in the opening it's more like a citrus lemon okay very refreshing very nice bottle sprayers are amazing check out that atomizer very beautiful blue so this fragrance check out the sprayer okay really nice sprayer man when i sprayed this at first you know i'll tell you one thing if you want to test your perfume like you really want to buy it that day do not smell 10 15 20 fragrances and your nose will get uh, sort of like a fatigue okay what will happen is if you smell some like uh, strong fragrances your nose will not pick up these fragrances later so always try freshies together and then after trying five or six go out you know see the dry down remember what you wore on your hand and then see the dry down okay give it some time then you'll see this fragrance is actually quite long lasting got this sharp citruses the lemon is very beautiful but i think this one reminds me a little bit of a uh, low you know let me tell you what this is Carvin Low Intense, if you're looking for that, this is a more refreshing version of that one. And I feel, I feel you can also wear this in, for a substitute, like as a substitute for Diorum Cologne, which is nice, nice starch citrus, but doesn't last. This one, it's going to be affordable, uh, obviously from Dior and Chanel's more expensive creation, but in the same quality, okay? Really nice, refreshing grapefruit, I think also there, lemon, uh, Italian, Sicilian lemon, a lot of things are there. I'll review and break it down. Very nice, refreshing fragrance. Givenchy only gentlemen. This is called Fresh. If I didn't make a mistake, right? So three gone. Let me show you the next three. So next three are a little bit more expensive. Uh, this one, the next one is a designer fragrance, but the next two are, I think, niche. Uh, so the price will be a little bit higher up. Uh, so the next one is the fragrance I bought recent times. I had it before, okay? Let me show you my older bottle. I keep saying I have the older bottle. Uh, this is that bottle. Okay, Aqua Digio Absolute by Giorgio Armani. This line, you know, it's it's a seller. The whole line is a seller because every single fragrance. Let me show you the other bottle. I bought it 200 ml. This this is the fragrance I want to show you. Aqua Digio Absolute looks stunning. Look at that cap. It doesn't have the magnetic top quite. Doesn't have the premium metal plate, but still looks nice. Aqua Digios are more premium. Price is gonna be very high. What I feel about this line is whole line. You get the original Aquadigio, refreshing, masculine, top seller, Profumo, Profondo. I bought all of them recent times. And even I had Essenza, hard to find now. And they have some other ones, Profondo Lights, Apsu, uh, Instinct, and then the EDP, which I have right there. So today, why I'm showing you this one, to focus on this one. Let me show you the full bottle. 
This fragrance right here, it's a fruity one. It's a little bit different than Aqua Di Gio. It doesn't smell quite like Aqua Di Gio, the original, which I also have. It's more for teenagers. It's more for younger people. This is the one they made and it's the most underrated in the line. You know, you may feel like, oh, this smells like fruity. And then, you know, it's like kind of like, a, how to say, a youthful. Some people may uh, maybe compare this with some of the like Azaro Wanted or something, but trust me, when you put this on, different people, it smells different on different people, okay? Very good performer for a freshy and fruity, kind of like a fruity, sweet uh, version of Aqua Digio. And this is actually a good marketing. I think this is a very refreshing juice. You can definitely give it a try if you're tried, uh, tired of Profondo, Profumo, some of the other DNAs. This is Stunner, one of our brothers, I think. Who was it? Said this is the underrated one. I definitely agree, okay? Really nice, long-lasting. Aqua Digio Absolute by Giorgio Armani. Refreshing one. Number two, this one I got recent times, I think I reviewed it before, but uh, this fragrance from House of Mason Martin Margiela, it's a nice one, okay? And when I say nice one, it's not the most stunning perfume ever, no. This is a good, solid summer relaxing fragrance and I love the juice color, the bottle, the concept. And this is not for everybody, it's a bit mature. This is about aldehydes. This fragrance is called Sailing Day of uh, Replica Line by Mason Martin Margiela. Just take a look at that color. Okay, I'm a sucker for uh, freshies, blue color, anything blue catches my eye. I had my eyes on this for a very long time. I compared this with Aqua Marine, I think recent times by Bulgari. That one won. That one is a better performer. But something about this fragrance, you know, it's refreshing. Okay. When I smell it, it doesn't quite smell like the most uplifting citrus. It doesn't smell like the, the typical run in the meal uh, citrusy uh, blue fragrance. It is blue, but it also has that bright sunny days vibe. If you are wearing white t-shirt and you are wearing like going out like casual meetup, it's summer's day, you know, it's very uh, humid, you know, you want something that's not so heavy. It sticks to you this and time. This has good performance, you know, this is a good performer, but this one, the projection, it's not super out there. So this is, makes it easier to wear. So that's why it's refreshing for me. Okay. So this is Mason Martin Margiela sailing day and the box. I don't know where I kept the box. It has a beautiful sticker there. It's like a beautiful boat on the ocean. If you like that, if you like boating, this is a fragrance. It's kind of sporty. It can be also worn uh, formally as well. So, Sailing Day by Replica Line. Mason Martin Marchiella. Number one. See, when I do shorter lists, I think I can afford to do it 150 minutes. Let's see if we can do it. So, number one, it's gonna make so many of my lists. So many. Trust me, this is one of my fragrances I bought recent times. I fell in love. This is one of the most... Uh, it's one of the fragrances that's growing on me very rapidly, very quickly. This is House of... <laughs> Hard for me to say. Itat Libre d'Orange. And this fragrance is called You or Someone Like You. Okay. I took this in my recent meetup to show my brothers. Everybody was, everybody was stunned by it. They're like the quality of the opening of the mint. It goes a little bit, the wow factor goes out a little bit and the dry down, it stays minty, but the most authentic mint, most realistic and it's mint. You know, it's like Aqua Algeria line, they had a Arba Fresca. That and this are similar, but the performance, stunner. The best thing about it, this thing, you can smell the mint all day. Uh, if you put this on, man, I cannot tell you enough. Go and try this. In my page, I can see in our group, everybody is loving this fragrance. Uh, sorry about that. It's gonna do ping ping for a while. Let me see. Let me uh, Get rid of the sound Okay, there you go. So basically the bottle is very beautiful. These are on the higher side. The cap is very good quality Okay, I'm just showing you and this fragrance is gonna be pricey Okay, some of you may feel like I can get Cartier Roadster at this price point I can get some of the other mean based fragrance even the gear line is gonna cost not that much Yes, but that performance this one can beat those fragrances for performance. Okay, um, tell you one thing, this fragrance is not for everybody, okay? It's an aqua taste, but I find the mint so refreshing, so green. Uh, even if you do not like mint, you may fall in love with it. There's nothing dirty about it, okay? So clean, crisp, simple, fresh fragrance. Check out my review, then you'll understand what this fragrance is all about. My number one today is You or Someone Like You by Itard Libra, Libre de Orange. Thank you very much for watching. Time to move on to the next videos. Hopefully, you take care and uh, keep supporting my channel just like you always do. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.